Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the M41 Spanker. The M41 Spanker is a heavy ordnance weapon manufactured by Mizrahi Armory. The M41 Spanker is characterized by two main components. Firstly, a reusable launcher that opens and closes with a hinge mechanism, which encircles the magazine. Secondly, a disposable magazine containing two rockets. The launcher is shoulder fired and the wielder stabilizes the weapon by holding a foregrip extending from the trigger guard. The weapon uses a unique system for loading and firing. Rather than using a single shot system, it is fed by a disposable unit with two tubes, each of which holds a single rocket. When one of the rockets is fired, the other is cycled into place. When both have been fired, the operator opens the launcher, removes the twin tubes unit, and insert another, and then closes the mechanism around the unit. As such, the M41 Spanker is considerably portable, allowing the operator to quickly reload while in combat, and greatly reduces the weight he or she carries without throwing the weapon away. A self-test button on the weapon rotates the twin tubes to ensure the mechanism will rotate as intended. This M41 Spanker is equipped with a smart link fire control module and target tracking systems. These systems allow the operator to track a target. The M41 Spanker accepts a variety of ammunition types as well, such as M21 anti-personnel rockets, which means this weapon is capable of tracking airborne vehicles. Though there have been various shoulder launch rocket launchers in service with the UNSC Armed Forces since its creation, only the M41 Spanker has the tactical importance to be heavily manufactured. The M41 Spanker has been in service with the UNSC for decades, since 2481, predating even the insurrection, during which it was used by the UNSC and insurrectionists. Over time, the M41 Spanker's role shifted from an anti-vehicular weapon to an all-purpose heavy weapon, even used in demolition purposes. Trademarks on the gun includes the word Spanker at the rear of the tubes. In the middle says M41 SSR MAV AW along with the UNSC logo and showing you the proper way to hold this weapon. And all the way at the front says UNSC on the tubes. Features of this weapon include a carry handle at the back of the twin tubular mag a handle at the top to easily open up and switch out the twin tubes. This green button here rotates a tubular magazine to ensure the rotation is working properly before firing. And finally, the foregrip at the front is very adjustable in length and angle. Double kill, tie the leader. When it comes to sights, there isn't anything traditional here. As I mentioned earlier, this weapon can be smart linked. I assume the smart link function would be at the top, and the red dot on the tube would be the lock on airborne vehicle function. The M41 Spanker holds two rockets in the tubular magazine, plus six extra spare rockets. The fire rate I got was 120 rounds per minute. Reload speed I got was 3.12 seconds. Max effective range is 152.33 meters. And the max effective range using Smart Link is 274.32 meters. And of course, since it's a rocket launcher, it's a one shot kill. First strike! Moving on to blast radius results, I got 8.06 meters. The 
the shield break radius was 5.42 meters. And the kill radius was 4.63 meters. And that's the rocket launcher. Overall, I mean, it's a rocket launcher. It does its job well, and I'm a fan of the lock-on airborne feature. And that's pretty much most of the UNSC weapons up to this point. I'm not done yet though, there's still remaining Covenant weapons to analyze next. Thank you guys so much for watching these. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you enjoyed the content on this channel, and let me know what you think of the Halo Reach rocket launcher in the comments below. And until next time, peace. Lost the lead. Double kill. Tie the leader. Game over. My back. Oh, my back.